Don't kissing like a pro. Lightly brush your lips over the other person's. Use feather-like pressure at first, so that your lips are just barely grazing over your partner's. This builds more anticipation and excitement than diving straight into a full-on French kiss. This also signals to your partner that you may be wanting more without being too forward about it. Keep your movements slow. A lot of quick, light kisses don't have the same level of sexiness as a barely restrained build intention. Act like you have all the time in the world, the kiss will speed up soon enough. Test the waters. Once you've built a solid foundation for a French kiss with some tongueless kissing, you can give the other person some subtle hints that you're ready to kick it up a notch. In general, if it's your first time kissing the person, you should be a bit cautious before initiating a French kiss, because this may come off as too much too soon. But beyond that, here are some things to keep in mind as you test the waters to signal that you're ready to kiss with your tongue. Open your mouth more widely. Offering unrestricted access invites the other person to make the first tentative tongue contact. Lock lips, so that the other person's lower lip is between your two lips. Then, lightly sweep the tip of your tongue over the lower lip. Do one smooth, swift motion so that the contact lasts for less than a second. If they are interested, they'll reciprocate. Know when to pull back. If you've tried both of the above techniques and your partner hasn't responded, Simply leave it alone until next time and focus on regular kissing. Avoid making a big deal of it, or guilting them. Explore with your tongue. If the other person seems interested, go ahead and start French kissing for real. Remember to keep your tongue in motion and your touches light. First, just slowly slide your tongue into your partner's mouth. You can either begin by placing it above or below your partner's tongue or even move it around the tongue a bit if you're feeling bold. Just make sure your partner's tongue is reciprocating your action so you're not just kissing a limp tongue, or the romance will dissipate pretty quick. Here are some things to keep in mind as you explore the French kiss. Stay playful. Tag the other person's tongue lightly and retreat back, inviting them to make the next move. Tongues are loaded with nerve endings, and the mere act of touching your partner's tongue with your own will be very pleasant. Don't go too deep, jamming your tongue down the other person's throat is a big turn-off. Stay shallow and light at first. See how far your partner wants to go, and follow suit. Breathe. If you're kissing for an extended period, it's easy to forget to breathe. Believe it or not, gasping and turning blue isn't very romantic. You may think that a truly passionate kiss involves many minutes of non-stop kisses, but if you really want to up the romance factor, then you have to stay alert and conscious. Once you fall into a rhythm, you should be able to find a suitable pattern for breathing without interrupting the flow of your kisses. Here's what you need to know. Take small breaths through your nose as you kiss. Don't be afraid to take a break. If you do it right, it can still be an intimate and sexy moment. Pull back slightly so that your foreheads are still touching, make eye contact, and smile. As you and your partner grow comfortable with the kiss, you can try breathing through your mouth a little, sharing breaths as well can be romantic, but not everybody likes it. Mastering Advanced Techniques Mix it up. Kisses are like snowflakes, no two are exactly the same. Once you feel comfortable French kissing someone, it is tempting to try to do the same thing every time, but you should resist if you want to keep things interesting. You should be able to fall into a nice, comfortable rhythm while adding enough variety from time to time to keep things interesting. Here's what you can vary. Speed. Varying the speed of your kisses is a good way to try something different without potentially intimidating your partner. Once you've got the slow kiss mastered, try going a little faster for a few seconds, it should leave you both a little breathless. Depth, once you're comfortable with someone, try kissing a little more deeply. The key to pulling this off is keeping your speed under control. Or, if you want things to be a little more flirty and playful, return to shallow kisses. Pressure, like a deep kiss. A hard kiss should be reserved for a situation in which you already know both you and your partner are comfortable. 
be a little bit more forceful with your tongue, but be sure to keep it in motion. Teeth You may want to try rubbing the backs or front of the other person's teeth with your tongue. This can create a ticklish feeling that might enhance your kiss. You could also try lightly catching the other person's lower lip with your teeth. Be aware, though, that not everyone likes their kisses with a side of teeth. Be prepared to put your chompers away. Use your hands. While you should keep your hands polite, especially on a first kiss, you don't necessarily want them just dangling at your sides. Using your hands and touching your partner's body, while keeping it respectful, can enhance the romantic feeling of the kiss and can make you and your kissing partner feel more connected. Once you make contact with your partner's body, you can move your hands around gently from time to time without being frantic about it. Here's what you need to know about using your hands while you French kiss. As a general rule, start with your hands on your partner's hips and then slowly move them around their back or up to the face and hair. Another turn on for the first kiss is to gently caress the other person's shoulder. It shows you are comfortable with them. Cradle your partner's face with your hands on their cheeks and their neck. Or, go for an old standby, simply wrap your arms around your partner in an embrace. Read your partner's body language. Everybody kisses a little differently, and each person enjoys different things in a kiss, there is no right way to kiss. Good kissing requires give and take, so read your partner's body language and pay attention to clues that tell you you're doing something they like. The most important thing is to make sure that your kissing partner is comfortable with the pace of your kissing and affectionate gestures. Not everybody likes to be kissed the same way, so while your former partner might have enjoyed one method of kissing, your new love might not. You need to learn to read signals and adapt to a style that's comfortable for each of you. If your partner pulls away or seems uncomfortable at any time, understand that you have to slow it down. Let your partner kiss you back and move with them as long as you're comfortable with what they are doing. Listen for clues that tell how much your partner is enjoying a particular maneuver. If you hear a sigh or a moan, or they begin kissing you back with increased intensity, you're on the right track. Practice. Good French kissing, like good kissing of any kind, requires practice. You will get better as you do it more. In addition, the more practice you have with one person, the more comfortable you will feel kissing them and developing a style that suits both of you. Just because you may not have had a stellar first kiss doesn't mean that you and your kissing partner are romantically doomed. Have patience and keep kissing slowly and gently until you fall into a rhythm that works for you. Don't take yourselves too seriously, either. If you tried something that just plain failed, it's okay to laugh to lightly apologize, and to try again. If you act devastated after a disappointing kiss, you'll only be making things weird for your partner, and there's no need for that. Most first kisses, like most first attempts at lovemaking, aren't anything to write home about. Part of the fun is getting better at it, together. Communicate. If you really like the way your partner kisses you, let them know. If you don't like something, also let your partner know that, but approach it delicately and compliment them at the same time on something they did that you liked. If your partner is being honest and open with you, try not to overreact or get hurt, or this may make your partner feel hesitant to communicate with you in the future. Even if the kiss goes all wrong, it can still be an intimate affair if you can both laugh about it together. The important thing is that you're both honest about how you're feeling and what you want to do to improve. You should also communicate by telling your partner how attractive they look, and how much you like them. Make it clear how happy you are to be with the person you're with, and the French kissing will come all